Hello and welcome back. The team behind Inkscape has been doing a great job, and last month they released version 1.2. I personally don't use it that much, as it is still laggy and buggy for me. As you might guess, I use Affinity in my main workflow, combined with other tools like Inkscape to fill in the gaps of Affinity. So in this video, I want to share with you five amazing features of Inkscape which I use and would be definitely in my Affinity wishlist. Let's start with Path Effects. This is an immense library of tools and effects you can apply to paths in Inkscape. For example, let's have a quick look at the rotate copies. Within an instant, we have created rotated copies of a path. Freaking awesome! You can modify the path and the options to create amazing effects. Trying to do this in Affinity would be madness. The second missing feature in Affinity, especially in Affinity Designer, is the Auto Trace function. I personally don't have a big problem with this not being in Affinity, as I use dedicated tools for this. And besides, this is a very specific step which can be easily outsourced to other tools. One of the tools I use for this is Inkscape, and they have a lot of options for tracing images. It can be a bit overwhelming first, and the results definitely need tweaking after tracing. It would be super cool though, if Affinity would create an auto trace that just works with one click. Related to auto trace, and this is something I definitely want in Affinity Designer, is the Fill tool. This tool is so awesome. And in fact, I prefer this one over the Auto Trace function. You just click on an area and it creates a path of the area. How cool is that? The nice feature is that it works on what you see. So I can add shapes, position them, and with an easy click, I can create a new shape without any operations like subtract and so on. In my opinion, this is by far the best tool in Inkscape. And here is maybe the second best tool in Inkscape, Meshes. Meshes can have various use cases, and one killing feature is Mesh Gradients. You can have multiple points with different colors, and a gradient is applied between these points allowing for very cool and interesting color effects. Besides being cool, it is also very customizable, as you can control how these points interact with each other. Definitely something which would be impossible to create in Affinity. And the final feature I would like to highlight in this video is the cloning feature. Affinity does have a power duplicate, but this is so much easier. With a couple of clicks, just like with the path effects, we can easily make copies of an existing object. Not only does it make clones, but you can apply different effects on the clones, like a blur, to make really interesting designs in a very quick way. Let me know in the comments what features you would like to see in future versions of Affinity. Thanks again for watching.